Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again so much for our time together. I'm here at the shores of the Sea of Galilee, and I wish you understood how excited everybody was about the water level this year at the Sea of Galilee. It's over two meters deep than it normally is and still rising as the snows from Mount Hermon begin to melt. Mount Ebel is right over here to the left. The city of Tiberias is back there in the background. And here again, on the shores of the Sea of Galilee, we find our story. Mark chapter 7, beginning with verse 31. Then Jesus left Tyre and went up to Sidon before going back to the Sea of Galilee and the region of the Ten Towns. A deaf man with a speech impediment was brought to him, and people begged Jesus to lay his hands on the man to heal him. Jesus led him away from the crowd so that they could be alone. You know, sometimes miracles need to happen in private, and you'll see why here in a minute. He put his fingers into the man's ears. Then spitting on his own fingers, he touched the man's tongue. Looking up to heaven, he sighed and said, Apatha, which means be opened. And instantly the man could hear, and his tongue was freed so he could speak plainly. Jesus told the crowd not to tell anyone, but the more he told them not to, the more they spread the news. Now notice, the more he told them not to, the more they spread the news. What I want you to see here today is that zeal often gets in the way of obedience. In fact, zeal is often the cause in the Bible of disobedience. Paul says it this way in Romans chapter 10, verse 2, that there are people that have zeal without knowledge. Now, there are many young Christians today that confuse zeal with, with obeying God and we're zealous for the things of God, and all they do is make a mess, just like what these people did. They made a mess. One day, you and I need to sit down and learn to understand that our zealousness does not replace obedience. That if we are going to do the work of God and we are going to accomplish things for God, we sometimes have to take our zeal and put it off to the side and sit down unemotionally and rationally, look at the Scripture and say, what does God want me to do? And then obey from knowledge. Do not allow zeal to drive you into disobedience.